children hello boys and girls praise god it's yet another wonderful day that the lord has blessed us and we are blessed to see this day and we are meant to rejoice and be glad in it and we st as we, we start our sunday as usual we have awesome activities lined up so let's get to church bariako yes and as i've measured my temperature i'm sanitizing ensuring that i'm keeping safe and all of us are keeping safe yes my temperature is 36.0 tafadhali yes asanti and even as we do this at home let's ensure that we 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 sanitize we keep safe and we don't even need to hug you see just tell people hi hello from a distance even when you're talking with your classmates or your friends you don't need to touch them let's ensure that we are safe because we are children of the lord and even as the lord is protecting us we need to protect ourselves and ensure that we uh, follow the rules so that we are safe and the lord will bless us and even as i go on i still i'm washing my hands to ensure that not only sanitizing but if you're able to wash your hands it's actually better and more practical so we have awesome things lined up we have awesome activities so let's begin by seeing what we learned last week Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Mike Robert. My family and I are blessed and we thank God for that. I have a memory verse. First Kings chapter 17 verse 16. It says, As God promised through Elijah, the bull did not run out of fire, nor did the jar run out of oil. This verse teaches me to trust in God, just like the widow in Zarephath did. Even though Elijah kept insisting on giving Sam something to eat, the widow, the widow did it with faith. And afterwards, she never left. Thank you. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Adasa Wege again. I'm in class five. I have a memory verse to say. First Kings chapter seventeen verse sixteen. It says, "As the Lord had promised through Elijah, the boat did not run out of oil, nor did the jar run out of oil." God bless. You. My name is Edith Mina. I come from Siu Maja Church. I have a memory verse to tell you. It comes from the book of First Kings, chapter seventeen, verse sixteen. It says that the Lord had promised through Elijah, the bowl did not run out of flour, nor did the jar run out of oil. Thank you. Have a blessed day. May God bless you. Praise God. Praise God again. Done. that was awesome work at home thank you so much thank you so much for continuously learning the memory verse and i hope you're all also taking action and doing learning it by heart and taking what we, we learn seriously okay now for the next part let's welcome our reverend to take us through a short message and then a word of prayer I want to greet you children. How are you this morning? Hope that you are keeping safe. It is long since we have met. We are continuing to pray to our God and I know God is making you to be safe wherever you are and he will continue to care for you. Uh even we are praying for you so that you can also resume your classes which will be in the month of January. and the lord will continue to enlighten you wherever you are, will be let us pray our god and our father we thank you for this wonderful morning you have given us we want to pray for these dear children that you have given us oh god these are your holy gifts that you have given to us we commit them oh father even during this period when they are not even in their classes they are not studying they are at home they are doing their online classes we continue to remember them lord continue enlightening them continue guiding them continue blessing them we pray even for their safety oh god that you protect them from the attack of the enemy the devil alone they will be safe out of this covid-19 no one of them will be affected be alone we pray even for their provisions We know you are the provider you provide for us and Lord you continue uh, giving them all that they need. We pray for their parents 
when as they continue taking care of them, oh God, that they will never forget these children and that they will render them in the right path. We commit them, oh God, even as they continue studying, Lord, even uh, online, as they are being taught by their Sunday school teachers, Lord, that they may comprehend what they are being taught and they may do to what pertains to your kingdom. We pray for them, oh God, that you may remember them. Even the young ones who cannot even be able to talk, who cannot be able even to walk, we pray that one day they will be talking, they will be walking, and Lord, they will continue to grow in good health. We commit all of them to you, O oh Father, knowing that you continue to read them. And now, Jehovah God, even as they start their classes this morning, we pray that, Lord, they may be able to listen to what they are being taught by their teachers, so that, Lord, they become good Christians, and they will continue to walk in your ways. Bless them, O oh God, and they may your peace that surpasses all human understanding be with these children, and they continue guiding them now and forevermore. This is our prayer of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Baraka. How are you today? Good morning, teacher. I'm are you very singing? nice. You're very nice? Yes. How was your week? Marvelous. Awesome. It was awesome? Yes. My week was good too. And I hope your week was good as well. We are so, so glad that we can join you, though not physically, but we can join together and worship the Lord and learn all the wonderful stories that have that are there in the Bible for us. So before we start, we'll start with a word of prayer. I'll pray and then Baraka, yes. you'll lead us with the word of the grace, okay? Okay. Okay, let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you so much for bringing us together this Sunday. We want to thank you that you're enabling us to come and listen to your word. Even though we are not going to church yet, we are able to sit in our houses and listen to your word. We pray that this opportunity shall always be there for us, for us to continue listening to you, for us to continue dancing and singing for you. Thank you for giving us this day, for keeping us safe and healthy, and for blessing our families. Be with us this lesson, and may we be able to sit still, listen to your word, and learn from it. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Clap for yourselves at home for being together with us today. Yay. I'm so, so glad we're here today and I want to see if you remember what we did last Sunday. Baraka, do you remember what story we learned last Sunday? Did you even watch? Well, teacher, I I tried and I watched, yes. You watched? Yes. And what was the story all about? It was the story of the widow wow. and, and 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 his son and they had no 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 oil or food. But Elijah pro prayed to God and they were provided for. Yes. The story was on Elijah and the widow of Zarephath and the story of oil and i'm glad that you remember and in the same same theme we'll continue talking about kindness okay yes so in the bible there was a woman who was a disciple of jesus and the people loved her so 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 much then one day she became sick and she died is that sad very sad how would you feel if your friend died one day oh no very sad very, and very, feel very sad. sad so the people were very very sad and this woman was so good to them she used to make clothes and give to the orphans and the widows baraka yes. who are orphans well orphans are those that have their parents have died yes orphans are those children who have lost their parents and widows baraka mm -hmm. are their wives who've lost their husbands so Tabitha used to be so nice that she used to make them clothes because they didn't have anyone to give them any clothes or any food. So she used to go and visit them and give them food and give them clothes. One day she became very, very, very sick and she died. And when she died, they were so sad. They all started crying and screaming and crying and screaming and they were so sad. But they heard that there was one disciple of Jesus who was in a town very close to where they were. So this disciple was called Peter. Do you know the disciples of Jesus? Well, yes, they yes. were 12. They were 12. We yes. play a small game to see how many you can name, okay? Okay. Please play the game at home with us. So I'll clap three times like this. One, two, three, and you name a disciple, okay? Yes. So I'll clap three times, you name one. Okay. I clap uh, three times, I name another, okay? Okay. And then I clap three times, I give you the chance at home to say a disable that you know, okay? Okay. Okay, are you ready, Baraka? Yes, I'm ready. We are starting ready. with you, we are starting with you. I'm clapping, one, two, three. Peter. Uh-huh, one, two, three, John. And then at home, I hope you'll, you'll be ready with a disciple. Yes, I hope you say that disciple, there are so many in the Bible, there were 12. So on this story, Peter was in a town that was nearby to where Tabitha had died. And when, he, when the disciples heard that he was very close, they ran quickly to fetch him. And so they ran fast, fast and called Peter and they told him, come, come, there's a, a friend of ours who is so nice and she's so sick until she has died. When Peter heard this, he said, I will go to that place and I will help your friends. Peter was nice. He used to come and help everyone's friends because Jesus taught him to be nice and kind and to be helping each other. 
So Peter went and he took him, with him his other friends and they went to see where Tabitha was. When they got to where Tabitha was, he really found that she was dead. They were not lying to him. She was dead. So what did he do? He took her to a room upstairs. The house had upstairs. You've seen houses with upstairs? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so they went upstairs and they closed the doors and the windows and they started praying for Tabitha. When they were praying, they prayed and the Spirit of God came down and Tabitha woke up. Can you imagine? Wow. Wow. It was such a great miracle. Yes. Tabitha woke up and she sat up and everyone who was there was so happy and amazed to see that Tabitha was was alive again. Would you be happy to see your friend alive again? I would be so happy. Yes, you'd be so happy. And so they were singing and dancing and shouting and clapping because their friend, who used to be so nice, had died. And when she died, they would have no one to give them clothes and food. And so when she came back to life, they were so, so happy. So this story, even though it was very brief, it teaches us that we should always be, be kind to one another. Baraka, yes. what are ways you can show kindness to those around you? Well, sharing my bicycle. Sharing your bicycle, what else? Um, Praying with those that are not feeling well. Yes, praying with those that are not feeling well. Another thing? Sharing my sweets. Sharing your sweets. And then there are so many things you can do at home to be kind, to show and show kindness to other people. You can pray with them. You can go outside and play. Play with the ball, play with your bicycle whenever you can. But not this time though. This time it's not so safe to stay outside. You can also share your food. There are many people who don't have food can find ways of giving them the food. So when, the, when Tabitha came back to life, she was able to continue helping the orphans and the widows. And the reason why God helped Tabitha, it's because she was kind to everyone around her. Yes, Baraka? Do you learn to, have you learned to be kind from this story? Of course, teacher. I'll be kind from now on. Yes, because when you're kind, people will always remember you. But when you're mean, and you're selfish, no one will remember you. In fact, if anything happened to you, no one will remember to pray for you, no one will remember to be there for you. But if you're kind and you help everyone, they will always remember you, okay? Yes, teacher. That, that was a good story, Barak. I hope you'll remember it. I will. And I hope when you can, you'll share it with those who are not able to hear the story, okay? Okay. Okay, so for another a small activity, I'll say a letter. When I say the letter, you tell me which disciple that name begins with. This story was about disciples, so we'll dwell a lot on the disciples. So when I say a letter, you name a disciple. Okay, Baraka? Yes. So I'll start with letter P. Peter. Peter, yes. Our story had Peter. Letter J. John. John, good. Another J. Judas. Judas. And another J. There were so many J's, guys. There were so many J's. Another J. Um, teacher, I can't remember. Can't remember who was the brother of John? James. James. An A. Yes. An A. Letter um, A. Um. A hint. I give you a hint. Yes. Hope, I hope you've said it. Yes. He was the brother of Peter. The other letter. N. The other letter. Baraka, I have told you all the letters and the whole words. Andrew. Andrew, that's good. I hope at home you've also helped us in this game and you're learning with us every Sunday. So don't forget this story. This story was about Dorcas. Her other name was Tabitha. She was very sick and she died. And the people who were there with her, they, were, they felt very sad because when she died, no one would help them. But because she was a good woman and she was kind and helpful, God sent Peter and he was able to heal her and she came back to life, okay? Yes. So this story, you can open your Bibles, comes from the book of Acts, chapter 9, from verse 36 to 42. Baraka, from which book? Acts, uh -huh. chapter 9, Yes. from verse 36, 36 to, 42. to 42. And we shall go right into our memory verse 
which for today, I hope you're writing, get your pens and your books. It comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16. Which book, Baraka? Hebrews uh -huh. chapter 13, uh -huh. verse 16. Good, you're attentive. I hope you're at home, you're also attentive. And it says, do not forget to do good. Baraka, now you'll repeat after me so that we remember together, okay? Okay. Do not forget to do good. Do not forget to do good. And to help one another. And to help one another. Because these sacrifices please God. Because these sacrifices please God. Let's do it again. Yes. Do not forget to do good. Do not forget to do good. And to help one another. And to help one another. Because these sacrifices. Because these sacrifices please God. Please God. And what is to please God, Baraka? To make him happy. To make God happy, okay? Yes. We'll do it together one last time and hope you'll remember it next Sunday and we'll see if you can remember it, okay? Yes. So our memory verse comes from Hebrews chapter, chapter 13, 13 verse 16. 16. And it says, Do, do not, not forget, forget to, do to do good and to help, and to help one, one another, another because, because these sacrifices, sacrifices please God. Alright, don't forget the story and keep watching and also keep going back watching all the other stories there are so many we've done please keep back go revising them once more over and over again we'll do an activity that will be involved you telling us some of these stories even the old ones you see if you can still remember and for today bye keep reading your bible and we'll see you next sunday baraka tell them bye bye, bye. then we close with a word of prayer wakati wakuomba remember we used to do that in chat Wakati wa kuomba tunanyorosha mikono tunakuja mikono tunainamisha kichwa tunaanza kuomba Thank you God for teaching us to be kind thank you for telling us that whenever we do good it pleases you thank you for reminding us this word and we pray that we shall never forget we shall carry it all the days of our lives and as we we interact with all our family members. We pray that we'll be able to tell them this message and teach them from this word. For it's in your mighty name we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Bye. Bye. In the town of Joppa, there was a kind lady called Tabitha. She used to walk around, see the widows and the orphans, have pity on them, console them, give them clothes, give them shoes, because they had no one to give them shoes or clothes. People used to walk by, look at them, others laugh and go, but she was kind and nice. She used to wipe their dust and give them nice shoes and clothes because they did not have any. And the people used to be so glad and happy that someone would eventually remember them. But one day, as she was in the house, she became sick and she got sicker and sicker and there was no one to help her or be with her and it continued until she, she died. When she died, the disciples remembered that Peter was in a nearby town of Lydia and they went to fetch him. And Peter, once he heard, he came so fast and looked and saw that indeed Tabitha was dead. He was sad and immediately got on his knees and started praying for her. Akaomba, akaomba, akamuombea. He prayed, he prayed, and God did a miracle. Tabitha was healed and she rose from the dead. She had her life back. And the people she used to help, they came back and saw that indeed she was alive and they were happy and they jumped up and down, giving praise to God and thanking him thanking him for the gift of life of Tabitha and always remembering that all the kind things that she did for them. This reminds us that we should never forget to do good to one another because these are the sacrifices that help God. Tabitha was so nice that she used to help the poor and when she died they were sad and they remembered that there was a disciple nearby who could heal her and they called him, he prayed for her and she was healed. Remember to always be good and to do good. Be blessed. What do you jump